Check, 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 check. You ready? Sure. Yo, what's poppin'? Mr. J Hill, you already know what time it is. Mr. J Hill Network, Mr. J Hill Podcast. Special guest. We in Atlanta. We brought the city to the A. That's Money Jake. Young turn nigga from the B to the A. What's good, dog? I'm cool, man. You looking good? You always looking good. <laughs> you a fly, bro. From the blimp. Yo, what's up, man? I feel like. How, how do you feel, dog? I feel blessed right now, man. So much going on back home, and for me to just to be able to migrate the way I've been moving, like just keeping a clear head and name off the wrong radar. That's all I want to do, bro. Work and keep my name clean. How do you feel about your success? It's like unbelievable for real. Not really unbelievable, but like, it's like, damn, this really, I'm really doing it. Mm -mm. I, um, when I look at y'all niggas and I say y'all niggas like you, the elites of the city, just mm -hmm. respectfully, you feel me? I really smile because I'm like, bro, niggas don't understand how hard, hard it is. Like niggas don't understand, like Baltimore don't have a music market. Mm -mm. Like a music market, like they don't understand that. So like for you to, for you to touch another base and another city that you really not even really from, it's like big. I don't even give a fuck if it go if your shit just go to Philly, DC. go to DC. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's big. That's really big. Yo, you um, one thing that I know is you locked in with the city, and I ain't talking about the city for the like. I mean the youth, the mayor's office. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, you be watching. <laughs> like it was like, yeah. like, cause I don't want to go into. But we gotta, we, we gotta go into something yeah. so niggas can understand yeah. where the fuck you came yeah. from yeah. and what you came out of. Yeah. Like, how was you able to like go from, you know, fully or some fully yeah. shit to, yeah. nah, we we bought we bought yeah. that business. Yeah. See, it was like my heart gold before anything. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it was like it don't matter where you come from and where you started from. You know what I'm saying? As long as you got a motherfucking destination or whatever you're trying to do, you feel me? And as long as you're reaching the destination. So it was like. Getting some money outside. We always did a little give back and whoopty whoopty woo, but it had the wrong narrative on it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's some Frank Lucas shit. Yeah, on some Frank like like that type shit. So we were like, damn, our name always coming up on the wrong thing. So then it was like once we got the mayor involved, uh, the Nation of Islam brothers, Captain Andrews and all them, and like to make it stokey, to make it make sense, you know what I'm saying? Like this is organized and niggas, niggas well, us black, us black straight out the trenches, Stricker Street, you know, we be versed at, we trying to be versed at our image because we not outside no more. Like you feel me? And I ain't saying that we bigger than the block. It's just that the block ain't where our motion at. We don't get our motion from the block. I'm the motion, the music. You feel me? So we trying to put the music and everything Make it one, so now y'all can see we inviting the police to our stuff. Mm -hmm. So y'all can see what we doing. So y'all gotta sit and watch and think it's gonna be a shooting happen. You know what I'm saying? That's why we want y'all here. Y'all stop, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So. I wanna talk to you about this, bro. I feel like, um, I talked to you a few times, and it seemed like you got your, definitely got your head on straight. One of the few niggas that can really articulate and have real conversation. Mm -hmm. You coming from the streets, right? Mm -hmm. We can't, I, me personally, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like that has a big part of your success and a lot of people like you success. Yeah. How, do you ever feel like, damn, why I gotta, why I gotta, why a nigga gotta come from the street to be successful rapper? Or that's just your, your, your past? Your I mean, like, I'm not gonna say that because I know successful rappers that ain't in the street. I feel like it's not a, it's not a lot. It's not a lot, but you gotta think about it like, the genre of the music to change now. So it's like the people who the generation up under us is following, you gotta think about who they following. And then you gotta think about who we was following as our generation. Mm. You know what I'm saying? See, like our generation is young boy doubt. You feel me? So it's a bunch of guns. You see that shit on every comment. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's young boy doubt. <laughs> see, like we was on a tip where though we had cool people. We had the fabulous. We had, you feel me? Like yeah. people like that. Like, and then me, I ain't on no balancing or judging. It's just that I just look at Lil Baby as more 
of an inspiration to me because mm-hmm. it ain't always shoot him up, bang, bang. There's more business. He with Mike Rubin, you feel me? He connect, he making it, making it make sense coming out them apartments. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Same with me. Yeah, same, same with me. You feel me? I get you. Like, he making it make sense coming off straight out Philly and straight out them apartments that he from, you know what I'm saying? That's like me, like straight off Stripper Street. I'm with Brandon Scott, you feel me? I'm with uh, Marilyn Mosby's. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I got just had Kevin Lyles down here come see me personally. You know what I'm saying? And I'm doing other personal shit like I'm spreading. So you feel like I say the motion ain't from the block no more. Yo, how how do you feel? Is, is, it, is it even frustrating understanding that or knowing that like you on the brink of becoming the, the, the money Jake that you want to be? It's real because I ain't gonna lie. I go get a rental. I go get a rental yesterday for us to come down here. You feel me? But my son wanted something for Wendy. So, you know, I go on McCullough Street. I'm like, man, I can't wait to get the fuck. You feel me? Like, so I, you feel me? But it's just big that I got the opportunity and I'm on the right path. Just like, get all, get away. But you what feel? about the, see, I asked about the frustration because I feel like being successful with everybody else to you, right? But it's like, I'm almost about to get the million dollar deal, about to get, you know, but I'm not there yet. Yeah, because you got to think about it. At the end of the day, it don't matter how far you make in a rap. You ain't got your, you ain't got your starting point behind you, you're nothing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I don't have my block behind me, I'm nothing. Because at the end of the day, if I ever make these big millions of dollars, well, I'm going to come back to you. If I can't come back to my block to give back, who block I'm going to give back to? Because mm. the big thing will be, why you ain't doing it on his block? Well, you feel me? You got to have your block behind you. And that's when you're so frustrating that it's like you really got to be like this. One foot on the curb, one foot in the street. It's like in the mix. Mm. That's the mix. Damn. Wow. Even when you're not doing something, and when you're that one, your name going to pop up regardless. Facts. But I'm sc- I'm speaking about like the frustration of, the frustration of not getting... Like, you know, you almost, the deal almost there. Yeah. But it ain't there now. Yeah. Do you ever get frustrated about that? Like, impatient? No, no, because I've been patient all my life. You feel me? And when that happens, it's just going to be bigger. Mm. This is going to be bigger. Like, I ain't going to kick the cap. Like, I got a couple people. Like, I could sign a deal right now in front of you right now. Mm. But I always just keep my ears and my eyes open. You feel me? Because it could just get better. I don't shut down nothing. What make you be so patient when it comes to the deal when, like, niggas came from nothing? Because I, it's I, the deal is money, and every deal I done had and people I done talked to, I told them I don't even want their money. Mm. I just want you to put your machine behind my craft, and we gonna make that money. We gonna, I'm telling you, we gonna make that money. So I just looking for some. I need I need to be genuine. Like I can I don't want to be shelf. You feel me? I need to be genuine because like if they think black youngster cut up on that internet. What you think I could do? <laughs> fact, you feel yeah, me? Like I can fact. make it. I can make it shake, shake, shake. You know what I'm saying? I just needed to be genuine. I just need you to spend some time with me and I'm gonna show you what I can do. I don't need your money. Just put this money. You feel as though you're gonna put, some, put, put it behind my marketing, my music, my videos. You feel as though this person might sound good with me on the feature. You feel me? I'm ready to rumble with industry and underground, whoever. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know I can do this. I mean, shit, you said you talked to Kevin Lyles, but I think that's a pretty good yeah. situation. And he, you know, he had Baltimore, Baltimore kid. So. I like that. What you, I mean, what you, you fucking with that? Or? I mean, Kevin, cool. He, you know, that's my man. Mm, I like that. I, um, mm, that just threw me off. Shit. I want to ask you about uh, the uh, DSTG shit. <laughs> How do you, was you, was you happy about that? The, the interaction you got from that song? I knew the song was going to be, I made that song for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I listen to this tape. I'm like, this the way he had come. So I'm going to come like this. Just so that motherfucker can really just, like, knock for real. I know it was going to knock. And then it just made it so better because on the way to the studio, man, him, we in the same truck. We driving up there. I'm like, bro, I need you to talk that stupid shit. Because, you know, a nigga just take your money and say some money. I say, bro, I need you to talk that crazy shit. But we've been politicking and vibing the whole time. Had a whole other situation going on on the side of that. You know what I'm saying? So, like. And then he caught on that motherfucker and did what he did. And then that bitch just, yeah. I didn't even think about it like that. You yeah. said you made it for him? Yeah. It sounds like it. Yeah. Like, I don't just make music to make music. I make music for the time. Bro, I'm not even going to lie to you. I ain't even know if you paid for it or not. 
the first thing I said when I heard that song was, damn, this nigga got his money worth. Real shit. <laughs> I Real said, shit. this nigga got Real shit. this I, one, no. I say, I, I could have, bro, I could get a feature with, paying for it, I could get a feature with anybody I want. I just felt as though that was, that man at that time was the right, and I went, he, he, he was there, Slim was there, and I'm like, they like, man, gee. And that's what it was. But do you feel like the song got the attention it needed to get? Like the, the, the numbers that, that you expected? I mean, like, you know, it's a thing with the Clarence. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, by time, by time it happened, by time it happened, it was already knocking on YouTube. That motherfucker almost had like 500,000 on YouTube. Well, not even a lot of promotion. I only posted about four or five times. You know what I'm saying? That bitch over that 500,000. Mm. So that's imagine me trying to make that song my one and then me running behind and I'm say cheese and it, um, academics and whoop de whoop de woo. Like, you feel me? Like I say, I'm not signed, so I don't have no machine behind me. So everything I'm doing is them views is straight out the mud. Out the mud. Those views is straight out the mud. Out you the know trenches. what I'm saying? Out the trenches. You feel me? And then, like, when every time I posted it, it ain't like it was just like a city. Jake, you killing it. This shit from everywhere. Like, yo, they even made this thing like, and think about this, that's cause I rap. I'm not even hip to rap. You know what I'm saying? I was looking on play. They're like, man, this is the Detroit style. Ooh, and I ain't even know. I didn't okay. even know this. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I didn't even know. You feel me? But like, I'm not really hip to rap. Like you, you get in my car, you're gonna be bored. Mm. You get in my car, unless you playing the music. Because I'm in the mirrors and you feel me? Eyes on the road, you feel me? I'm playing, I don't be with all that me. Oh, I ain't gonna cap. I'm a 92Q jams. Whatever come on, you feel me? Right there, like I swear. Fuck like the city, man. Fuck yeah. the city. Yo, speaking of the city, what do you think that, this is such a vague, like, or a cliche question, but like, what do you think the city of Baltimore is when it comes to music or rap specifically? I think, I think we that, I think we the black sheep. Because and I say that because once you finally get one, you got it. You can come get Moose, you can come get Tech, you can come get Roddy, you can come get me, you can come get anybody, you can come get Slim, you can go get Will, you can get next to blow. We're gonna turn your label up. All we need you to do is be patient with us. Put us out there. Spend that money to get us with put our music where it needs to be, and you're gonna be turned. Cause listen, ain't nobody got that energy like how we give it. We, 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 we classy rude. City is, nah, for real. We classy rude. It, it's just, it's real shit. It's, we don't, we don't mean nothing. We don't mean no harm, we, but we, what we, we saying. We embrace you in love, but it just sounds yeah. ignorant. Like, it just, what's up, dummy? Like, yeah, it's love. It's love. <laughs> it's love. Like, real shit, we classy. That's the craziest thing ever, like, we, love. Like, we classy rude, bro. It's stupid ass, like, it's just. Yeah, dumb ass nigga. <laughs> you feel me? Like, real shit. It's love. It's bro. love, like, we classy rude, so. You gotta understand us, and that's the problem. Like they don't understand us, but they don't understand though. Like I don't think no other city, small city like this, book artists is the way we do anyway. No. Like I don't never see a bunch of major shows in Philly. I don't never see a bunch of major shows in the small VA areas like that. Baltimore always got somebody here. You know what I'm saying? And I would just be wanting them to understand, like for the people that's booking them. Give your locals a shot. Like, man, try to like, if you, it, it, like the fit, it's like the fit, like, you know me, I'm more like a, I say my style is around a money bag, ESTG, Yo Gotti lane. Mm -hmm. I say tech style is more around the PZT, Babyface Ray, and you feel me? Mm -hmm. That kind of lane, you know what I'm saying? When you getting them dudes, put that dude with that dude, man. This is him, woo, 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 woo. I want y'all to say, cause it ain't enough about the politics. It might can happen, but they be so in and out that's giving them bread and letting them run that they don't even get a chance. We opening up for nothing. Who we opening up for? No, facts. We to open up for Jay Hill 50 million times. He tired of saying this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, facts. Like real shit. Like, so, question. This is, I've never even, I, this is weird. I just, this is curious. I never asked this question ever in my life. When I was doing the freestyle shit, who you think had the best one? You know who had the best one? Who did your highest views? The highest views? Yeah. You don't you don't know who the highest views is. <laughs> it's shorty shorty. <laughs> I don't got think it, 2.6 million. 
I don't think he had the best one. You said it. I, 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 I was thinking from me listening. See, I didn't even listen to shorty, shorty shit. You said Like I told you, I'm not even. But you said who had the highest views. You said it. No, I'm thinking because I'm already thinking in my mind tell, the tell, way tell, yo kill. Yeah, he burned it. That's the, and that's the reason why I told you this when we talked before. I still, I, I still ain't want to hear that shit. I know you don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear that shit. But that's just, that's just the way it is. That's just the nah, way it is. Bro, you got to come through and bless me. I can't, you know what I'm saying? Because like I freestyle, but like I don't write nothing. Nothing. None of my music I write. You know what I'm saying? But you got to think about it. I'm a heavy nigga. I don't got enough wind to keep going. You know what I'm saying? I, and, and I like my shit to be flawless. Right. I like my shit to be flawless. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But yo killed it. He killed it. He killed it so much. I made that. I just let that be his lane. Facts. You know what I'm saying? But I mean. I understand. That helps. What happens though. If, if I can get all the hottest niggas. Yeah. That helps the platform. Then it can help us. Yeah. But I'm here. That's going to help me. I'm telling you, it's gonna help. No cap. No I'm cap, telling no you. Cap, no cap. You feel me? You ain't asked me to do this. I asked you today. I'm here. Let's get busy. Much you love. feel me? I ordered you that. M much love. Much love. I fuck with it. I um, I was just curious. I was wondering because I um, yeah. I, I just let, asked me who and then you gotta think about it, bro. L City want to see. L City want to see controversy. Like you gotta think about it, bro. My I post a give back. My shit get two thousand likes. I post me. I'ma smack the shit out of Jay Hill. That bitch gonna break the internet. Oh, post that shit. You feel me? It's gonna break the no, internet. Post, post so they wanna see conservation. So the first that. so the first thing they're gonna say, the first thing they're gonna say is Tech killed him. People won't say tech killed them more. People gonna say I killed them more. Who killed them more? And that's just gonna be the middle question at the end of the day. I don't be having time. I don't know. I ain't gonna lie to you. I think our city, like you said, I think our city different, bro, when it kind of love, bro. It I, is. I think we give each other more love than a lot of niggas than, than we, we think. Yeah, it's a crab in a barrel type city, but yeah. I feel like we show a, niggas, we show each other a lot of love compared to other places, bro. I ain't gonna lie, we just sometime me with it. If we always do it, mm. if we always do it, like it be sometimes like, I ain't never have a conflict with nobody ever rapping out of town. But it just be like, sometimes I might not talk to, the, talk to a nigga for six months. Mm. And then you think a nigga being phony with you the whole time, I'm going through what I'm going through. Right. You feel me? So it just be like, if we keep up with each other and keep checking on each other and stay on each other ass about getting the fuck up out of here, maybe it will all work. I don't think it's sometimes. That's what it is. I feel like our city is so passionate that we don't know how to control our emotions. So if you don't talk to me in seven months, the first thing I'm doing is, oh, this nigga phony as shit. This nigga don't fuck with me. And it'd be, especially if you, let's say in the mix of that seven months, I drop something that go crazy for the town. They gonna swear the motion is causing me. You gonna think the motion is causing me not to, to act, talk to yeah. him. You but it's like, bro, I'm really just busy. I, I was telling, yeah. I was just having a conversation with the nigga Mozzie or whatever, and I was telling him like, I DM'd him like 50 times. He hit me after like I had did his ex, they had broke up or whatever. That shit went crazy, and he hit me, and I could have took it personal, but I'm like, bro, I know it's a, it's a hundred niggas in my DMs. Uh -huh. So for me to take you not answer me personal, that's. The audacity. Nah, you get what I'm real. saying? Like that's like that that it, that's like if, if I didn't have no DMs that I, I didn't yeah. answer, then I'll maybe I'd be upset. Right. But it's like some people be overlooking the shit, their yeah. shit, looking at another nigga. It's like bro, like yeah. relax. And I feel like that's our our city. Mm. We so passionate because we I, I think we do show each other love. Mm. But what happened is the moment a miss well not to handle those misunderstandings. So the moment somebody moved the way they think that they shouldn't move. Is up. Oh, it's up. It's up. Oh, it's it's up. like, fuck this nigga. Like, yeah. like, relax. Yeah. Relax. You think that that play a part of we, a lot of people in the city be like, why niggas don't make it in the industry? Yeah. You think that play a part of that? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, because you got to think about it. Like, I was having this conversation at my homeboy store the other day. That's about them cosigns, for real. Mm. It's about them cosigns. So it's like, if I'm the hottest nigga in the city, and you just dropped your first song ever, and me and all the hottest niggas in the city posted you. Everybody else gonna just wanna, why are all these hot niggas posting them? What he doing, or who is he doing? So you gonna automatically get embraced. You know what I'm saying? So like, that's like saying, I didn't know, uh, I didn't know uh, who wanna smoke with me before 21 Savage and all them got on there. Mm. But you feel me? It's the network, Nardo Wick put the play together. He got all the top people on there, you feel me? And look at him now. You know I mean? They say he walked in there and got a three million dollar deal. That's crazy. You know what's crazy, bro? Like just, just being in, in this position, I look at it so differently. When I was coming up, I used to always say the city was phony. And what I meant by that was 
niggas will get hot. Now niggas cool. That's not really the case though. Nah. You got to work your way up. Like niggas, niggas don't know you until you on a level where niggas know you. Real niggas shit. Is what it is. And, and that's, shit. Nothing, uh, that's nothing personal. You just got to put shit. the work in for a nigga to think you important. And shit. That don't mean that they doing it intentionally. They just don't see you. Let me interview you for a second. Let me interview you for a second. You from the city. Why we don't get them back ends like how when they bring in other people from out of town? From the club shit? Yeah. Why you think that? That's a great question. The first thing I would say is the work, right? But that's not true. <laughs> because a nigga, a book of YG Tech and YG Tech will bring the city out and he gonna make the club some money. A nigga could book I ain't gonna say ESTG because the hood niggas we gonna fuck with. But who somebody somebody thought of somebody that's really famous? I, we can book Will Smith and ain't nobody gonna come up, come out. But they're gonna pay him. So it's like, I can't answer that question. I, maybe it's the hype. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. What you I, think? I think I think they don't look at us as how they look at the other artists. That's what I think. Is it cause y'all are around too much? And not because we gotta be around. We from here. We live here. If, if that was the case, Shorty, Shorty be booked in Baltimore every day. He in LA all the time. But is it because when I say y'all around too a lot, let's be real though. I'm hosting the club. Hey, bro. Guess who got all the bottles and shit popping? Us. Money, Jake. We don't want saving your ass at the end of the day. But it's a pro and con with that. You are. Yeah. Why am I? Why am I going to book Money Jake when he going to come? Because it's your lit. Yeah, that's why I stopped. Mm. But if he coming, why not? And he, and so, you know, and, and he you know, me love, why not? Why show him love? You know what I'm saying? Damn. Like you gotta think about it. Like niggas is moving the right way now. Like niggas ain't just bringing their whole block to the to the club. Like niggas got security. Niggas got black trucks. Niggas got you feel me? A whole you feel me? At least that, take my expenses. That shit costs. Niggas gotta get fly. Jeans is two thousand dollars, fifteen hundred at the least. From the slickest niggas in the town that's rapping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I need to be rapping. You know what I'm saying? Like real shit though. Like, so like shit costs. Everybody, every rapper I know, except probably Roddy. I don't think Roddy got kids yet, but everybody else I know got two or better. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you yeah. gotta think about it. Shit costs, bro. Mm. Shit costs, and they need to take heed to that shit. And we say they ask you how many times I'd have been booked with a with a mainstream artist and he even not come or it didn't work out the way it was and it flopped. But then I come out there and get everything back turned up. And not even that, you know how many times just me being a host in the city, I see you, she, free Tay, I see Tay come out a hundred bucks. You can at least give a nigga love back like, bro, come on, bro. Like, now I get it. I can understand the frustration. Damn, I don't know, bro. You, do you think that fuck up the dynamic of the artist and promoter in the city? Yeah, hell yeah. Because you got to think about it. Like you said when you first got here, hey, niggas close to them to them checks. So now when you really want me here and I beat you across your head with the price, Man. damn, you was supposed to be love. You from in town? You ain't showing me love when I was in town. Damn. Damn. So how was you... I, how could they show you love, I guess? Like, if you had it your way, how would it look? Me showing show me love? Like, like, if you was the promoter, how would it look? Like, Oh, shit, it'd be crazy. You know how it's going to be. It's going to be a stampede. No, I'm saying, like, but how would, like, do, I'm talking about the money. Like, how do they show you love as a promoter? Like, how, how should they do it? How should they go about it? Like, like when I come, you usually come to the clubs, like, I'm coming through front doors with other motherfuckers. And, like, you feel me? But... Little baby come, he, they get a secret Harriet Tubman tunnel. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't really, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, it'll be sometimes, nigga can't even park nowhere. Damn. You probably have a nigga shit up, oh, man, this Jake in them park spot right here. Listen, when they come, tell them, tell them whoever, tell them whoever we check the money to, call 10 minutes before they come so we can have a setup the window. Ain't nobody right here so they can come through in and out. You know what I'm saying? In and out, not even in and out, but like make sure he getting that motherfucker safe and he leaving out that motherfucker safe. Damn, now that's some real shit. I, I respect it, and I think even if, if niggas can't get the bag, they can at least get the accommodations. And I think that's real not shit. a lot to ask for. Real, that's not a lot to ask for. Because, and, and I'm about to go into this conversation. I feel like a lot of times I have conversations with niggas from the city. It's always this conversation, and even athletes at this point. Why do you think the city got 
such a hold on niggas. Like when niggas get successful, they, they gotta go back to their hood. They gotta be back home. And like, why why do you think they, it's, it's such a tight hold on? You gotta think about it. They gonna dive in your ass if you don't come back home. Mm. They gonna dive in your ass if you don't come back home. It's gonna feel like you, because even though you can't take everybody with you, and they people still feel left out. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't come and show your love back, it's like the club shit. You don't come show your love back. Like, I, how the fuck I'm gonna go to school with you? And we used to be cool shoot hoops in the gym, running halls, getting suspended. But then I just go mainstream one day. And I, you see what I mean? I, I can't even acknowledge you because I'm up here. Everybody ain't got your talents or, or your emotion to go where you go. So you gotta, like I say, my block, I don't give a fuck where I go. They can sign me to Jupiter. We all equal because that's where I started at. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm probably surpassed them and everything, you feel me? But like, no, I shared clothes with these niggas. I, done, I know all y'all mothers, you feel me? I, you feel me? Y'all kids call me uncle and whoop de woop de woop. You know what I'm saying? It's the block. Even the niggas that, you know how you got a block, but only certain groups hang with each other. Like even the group, the outcast group, you still got to show them love because they really know you. Right. All this, You could be a whole facade in the league, but niggas really know you. Do you feel like you um you gotta be? And then them old stories get to popping up, J Hill. Man, I remember Trey. I remember, I remember Trey songs. I remember remember Dante from down the street smack the shit out of him. Mm-hmm. And then nigga want to go put that shit on say cheese that old video or something. You lost that fight, but you fought. You lost that fight, and it'd be like they can make it anything out of anything. But what is what what, what does that mean? Like what 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 is that? You may, you might be in your rap shit once. I never lost a fight in one night, and then, and then the person you just carried because you ain't, you feel me? Shit, Dante. Even though you fought that nigga, man, shit, Dante beat the shit out of him. That Dante, Dante beat the shot man in two thousand one. But that's I, wouldn't that be your fault for being a fraud in your raps? It it would be your fault, but let me say what the fuck I want in my rap. Okay, okay. you don't gotta come haunt my past. Okay, but okay. that's what they do. That's what they do to you. So I'm is that why you. niggas? But but wait, what I got to do with niggas staying home in their city when they niggas downplaying their celebrity almost? Like, cause I, that's the conversation I'm trying to have. Like niggas of your stature, money, Jake. I'm still in the hood. I'm still around all my niggas, and I'm still on the block. Like I feel like I just feel like that's not smart. Not I saying you can't be in the and I don't do that. But I feel like a lot of niggas I talk to on this platform from the city. That because like, nah, man, I need to be. You know why? That's because niggas motion ain't what they saying it is. It's the internet that you see, you feel me? Niggas motion, niggas ain't got that motion that they really saying they got. Like I'm interviewing you with you in Atlanta when we just had our first one, that something happened to you on motherfucking St. Paul Street. You know what I'm saying? No, right. Like niggas home, you feel me? Like niggas don't, and niggas one track minded. Like niggas ain't got, you feel me? Niggas don't want nothing else. Niggas be content with, with what they got going on. I ain't content, I don't settle. Mm. I don't settle. So how you, just curious. When you when you back home, how you moving? Like when you going out and shit? Are you, you like you said black trucks? I'm not going out like for one unless I'm on a bill. Okay. I don't go nowhere mm. unless I'm on a bill. I'm with my niggas. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm with my family most of the time. So you don't think you uh, like my life pretty much is like boring home. If I'm not on a bill, I'm not coming out. Or I'm working. I'm got music to do, so I'm in the studio. And you can ask my engineer. I'm in that motherfucker. Damn near five times a five times a week. Mm. That's two days. I'm probably chilling. So you treat yourself like a celebrity back home? Yeah, I, I work. That's my crap. I don't want a job. I like how I'm getting paid. I like how I get to move. I like how I get to sleep extra late. I like you feel me. My kids good. You feel me? Everything straight. Ain't nobody really complaining. That's in my immediate family. You know what I'm saying? But like, I like what I'm doing. So I want to continue doing what I'm doing. And I never growing up. I, you know how you like? What you want to be when you grow up? JL. I want to play football. I want to play football. I never answered the question. Mm. So this is me really figuring out where I want to do. Damn. So I just and you can ask you. my mother this. That's fire, bro. I, I, I told you the first time we talked, bro. Um, speaking to and, you. And you know I gotta, you know I gotta keep it solid. And not saying I didn't play sports or anything. I did. But that was not, I never, I always knew I wasn't going to the NFL. I always knew I wasn't going to college okay. after I finished high school. I always knew these things, but I never knew what I wanted to do. Until you started rapping. No, I never knew what I wanted to do, period, until I found that I like rapping. Okay. Nah, I like that. I, and I told you. I like what rapping do for me. Niggas don't see, niggas make all the excuses in the world why they can't do some shit. Right. 
But now I was gonna ask you, um, we see you looking good, you doing good, but how do you feel? Honestly, like, how do you feel? You feel me? Like, like, yeah, I feel like you got a lot of shit going on that a lot of people don't know about. Bro, I'm stressed the fuck out. Bro. Mm. Like, cause I want it so bad, but it's like, cause it'd be, it'd be like, you ever tried to, you ever tried to, it's like a treadmill. You run it so motherfucking fast, but you in spot. the same spot. Not even the same spot because you actually you burn the calories, you lose the weight, you looking good, it's about your health and everything. But it's just like, if this motherfucker can make me go the distance, you know what I'm saying? It's like you running this somebody grabbing your shirt and you pulling, you pulling. I ain't gonna say a trap, I'm gonna say like you pulling. Mm. You feel me? It's like it's pulling because of the city so slow, we behind with everything. And it'd be faster than the next motherfucker. That means you gotta teach a lot of mother. You feel me? <laughs> I understand. So it'd be like that, but and it stress you out. You gotta think about it. You teaching a bunch of motherfuckers every day. Then you gotta go home. I got two burnt out babies, a four month and a seven year old. They already crazy as shit. Then like you got your baby mothers. Then you got your homeboys. Then you got your homeboys that really don't want to see you in that position. You feel me? You got your homeboys that actually want you to win. Then you got your friends that's like not your homeboys' friends. So when everybody around is weird vibes, you make it click and then shit like that. Like all that shit. And then like me, like me, I'm the one with the motion. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be like, it'd be up to me to keep it however it's going to be. Bad or good. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be like, anything happen that's bad or good, it come to me. Like I could be here in Atlanta right now. Some shit go back home. Some shit happen home. Jake, woo, 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 woo. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Why the fuck y'all can't figure it out? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want no parts because I'll be the first name. You feel me? Every time. Like, then you ain't going, who the fuck going to get us the fuck up out of here if they take me away somewhere? Mm. If I get taken away from the mission. Mm. So it's like, I just be wanting to get treated like the motherfucking prize. Like, you gotta like protect the brand. I feel like I'm the brand right now. You feel me? Nigga beat Mr. Nike up. Ain't no more Air Force Ones. Mm. You feel me? Like, you gotta protect the brand. You feel like niggas ain't doing what they gotta do to protect the bag, essentially you. Not even like doing what they doing to protect me. It's just like, you don't know what you're gonna get into from where we from. You can wake up and have a beautiful morning. Girl, you use me here when you wake up, breakfast getting cooked, kids ain't geeking. That's a good boop, morning. Boop, boop, you go straight outside your whole shit room. Mm. Damn, I should have stayed where the fuck I was at. But you still gonna feel it anyway because you that one that's gonna get the call about whatever happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just how it is, bro. You gotta take the good with the bad. That's what I call it. And I seen on Twitter, and I replied to it one day, they say, describe this year and, 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 and one phrase. I said, getting through it, going through it, and getting through it. Mm. And, that, and that's the only way to put it. Yo, know, it's crazy because, like, niggas would never think that. Niggas look at Money Jake. Nigga, I, nigga would never think that Money Jake would describe 2022 as going through it and getting through it. Yeah, real shit. You know, I think about it, bro. Like, I still take a booking for $500 because I don't turn shit down because it just keep up with your motion. Mm. You feel me? I can get a booking all the way up to $6,500. You feel me? But like uh, at the end of the day, I get every, you feel me? I get all them bookers that might be 500 to add up to that. You know what I'm saying? It's still going to be the same thing at the end of the day. And you feel me? Like me, I answer every DM because I don't like people to love me so much and can't reach me. Even though you ain't really supposed to be reachable because it's your network and your network. You know what I'm saying? But like my favorite artist, I would love my favorite artist if I hit him in the DM. That would be hard. Right, you know what I'm saying? That'd so be- I want that to be that. You know what I'm saying? I wanna be, I'm trying to be that artist. Mm. I'm trying to be that artist. Mm. You Damn. feel me? Nah, facts. It's just crazy, like I said, like, I feel like, like I be mad, my bad, cause mm-hmm. I be mad when I get on my Instagram and I got, like, you feel me? And I go to the other side, the request side, and the thing be gone. You feel me? Like, Damn, I missed the repost. Because, like, you know, you feel me? Damn, nah, it's, 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 it's so refreshing to hear you speak about these things, because again, I, I'm not the only one. I feel like there's so many niggas that would never think that you go through these shits. Like, this is some shit that your average motherfucker will go through. No, real shit. I'm an average motherfucker. I always keep it in my mind that I'm lit. But don't forget, because like at the end of the day, what times? 
Tables, man. That tables, shit, always turn. Tables turn, Always man. turn. Shit, always turn, man. And I just be trying to keep my light on. You know what I'm saying? No cap. I be trying to keep my light on. Man. No cap. Oh, that's it. No cap. Damn, that's crazy, bro. Damn, I, y'all appreciate you for pulling up. Yo, before we leave, right? Tell me something that you, um, that, that, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me something that, um, you might be, you might be struggling through that niggas would never know. Like, like getting everybody on one, one, one accord. Mm. Uh, getting everybody on one accord. If you got everybody on one accord, it's helping you. It helped me. I ain't gonna say babysit. I ain't gonna say nothing. It helped me manage. It may help me manage the situation better. Mm. You feel me? Because if I got you over here throwing rocks, him dribbling the ball, him shooting somebody, him selling drugs, and then anything happened bad, you feel me? Like, you feel me? You never gonna know where to pinpoint something from. So I be just trying to get everything on one accord. So everything is smooth, smooth. Even if it's smoothly going bad. Damn. You feel me? Damn. Even if it's smoothly going, it just need something to just go smooth. in a straight line. You feel me? You know? So you can know where you're going. Because anything else going to knock you around. You know what I'm saying? But you just, I'm just trying to get, get my team together. Like, I'm trying to get my team together. Like, you feel me? Like, you know how you got homeboys that you be with, but you got the ones that you going to be with. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just trying to get all that together, you feel me? Damn. Nah, I fuck with it, bro. Um, again, I appreciate you pulling up. Yeah, no question. Yo, anything, anywhere I can help you, man. I know it's my platform, bro. I'm going to continue to act. Yeah, your shit wrong, too. I just want you when I'm going to, because you know me. Like, I don't drop as much as I should, but when I drop, you know, I bomb. It's a video, 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 video. Song, song. Just, you know, yeah. uh, Jake, on the, get me in here. Ask me, ask me the process. I'm going to tell you. This yeah, one, no, I'm like, I mean, that shit ain't nothing. It's, yeah. um, I'm, I'm, and this is really just for like the niggas that fuck with me for real because people always be like, yo, Jay, like, you really like the biggest podcast in the city and all this and all that. And I just be like, bro, like, I don't think I want, I want actual favor. Yeah, I want you to link with another podcast that I really truly like and they, and they keep it so raw. Who? Raw, raw dope. dope. I know, I, I, it's funny. I, we just talked on the phone. I just, we oh, just, yeah, we one. just, yeah, we That's just, one. some shit. Bro, like, they so raw. And straight in the straight from out the mix that want the same thing you want, bro. And like it's it's, it's crazy. Like. No, nah, y'all fuck with Rondo podcast, man. Y'all follow him. We um I had a conversation, so it's funny because I had a conversation with Will, right? Will Barton was in Miami, and Will is like, "Yo, who's the hottest podcast on the city?" I'm like, "Um, probably Rondo podcast, probably um, uh, damn, real spill, of course, Jess hilarious shit." Um, he was like, he was looking at me like. Damn, you crazy. Because if it was me, I would say I would say me. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't consider myself a city, a city podcast. podcast. And it moved. Yeah, it, it's nothing against them. It's just, if most of my guests was Baltimore niggas, then yeah. cool. But yeah. most of my guests ain't out of town. You know what I'm saying? And I did that for a reason. And honestly, that's one. I got a global podcast. Yeah, and it's no disrespect. Yeah, and, it's no disrespect. And, I, and I was telling it's him. Not more motion yeah, there. and I was telling him. I'm like, bro, you got to understand. Like, shit, my set alone cause... 10,000 on the minimum, like, and I did all that, and, and it's nothing against nobody else. Right. It's just, bro, I worked hard for me not to be a city podcast, right. so I would never compare myself right. to nobody in the city, right. you know what I'm saying? And like, I didn't want to say like I was coming. And then you know me, like, when I, I don't, I, when they ask me to come to podcast, I ask you how many followers you got. Mm. So I got a story that motherfuckers need to hear, and if you only got 100 followers, I probably already got them 100 people that you feel that you already follow. You feel me? So like, I need my shit to get out. Mm. I need my shit to, to go. Nah, but nah, like you, you said, said, I fuck with Rondo Podcast. I fuck. I came from that era. I, fuck, I came from internet radio. Like I had the success with DTLR with with uh, KYS and DC, uh, but I came from that that era. So yeah. I know. Yeah, I always. Yeah, yeah mad look, mad look. Mad look. Now, I feel like I'm the median. I feel like because respectfully, niggas like you are special. You know it. Tech special, uh, Roddy special. I feel like I'm a medium because I can talk to you niggas and niggas. They, they, yeah. you guys look at me as beneficial, yeah. and I, I appreciate that because I, I work hard to be beneficial. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm still connected to the other rappers that y'all probably don't even know because I was. They was the ones giving me the interview first. Right. To be real, right. you know what I'm saying? So like, nah, definitely, I definitely. Yeah, that's that's it, though. Nah, that's, that's like me the same the same thing. You ain't forget where the fuck you started at. Yeah, nah, no, no, no way. That's why I was actually really You're gonna need where you started at though. You're gonna need when you said in the long run, you're gonna need when you started at. I'm telling you. you definitely gonna need it. Cause niggas, like niggas don't forget, bro. Let you play with a nigga. That's what I just said, right? <laughs>
Dante beat your ass in 2001. You feel me? That's all they on. I'm telling you. You can play with a nigga if you want. Niggas will be like, because think about it. Like you said, them tape was turned. Is a nigga out here that's going to blow up, fuck around, come out of nowhere. He going to fuck around, blow up, and then he, he going to try to get an interview with him. He's like, well, nah. Yeah. Perfect example. I'll give you something on, on camera. Fuck it. Uh, when I was doing a DTL already on freestyle, the nigga No Savage hit me up. Mm-hmm. My dumb ass. I didn't even know. Like, no I, I just, I was too free busy. No savage, yeah, free No Savage. I was too busy in my own world. Free own man. Man, it was a couple years later. Now you're hitting back. I <laughs> fuck out of here. Niggas is like, yo, you gotta get no sandwich. I'm reaching out. And granted, he answered it, but he was in his own world. So it's like, you ain't forget. You know he ain't forget. No, he ain't forget. You know he ain't forget. Yeah. But you got, he got nigga on the opposite side. The motherfuckers won't want you to win. Mm. You feel me? He don't want you to win. You gotta think about it. Like, say it right now. I'm with these two fellas. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with you genuinely. But one of them don't know. I mean, one of your dumb ass podcast. You know what I'm saying? Like real shit. Like <laughs> even though you shit popping or whatever, like it's people like that, bro. Like, nice. But you that's all, that's shit you got, bro. Mm. That's that's that muscle right there. That's that muscle right there, bro. I'm telling you. Nah, man. Like I ain't gonna lie. I can't like, put anything. Like what you do before you do anything? Like anything, anything. So I don't know. Think that you want to do. Like say if you wanna. Oh, I I study it. Whatever. Whatever, whatever. Yeah, go right there. Study. You study it. Like, I ain't never did nothing without watching it first. Never did nothing without watching it first. Well, 100% I study it. So you feel like all my homeboys coming up, everybody had juvenile records. My shit went flawless. Mm. I caught my first adult charge in 2017. One time being the central book. You know what I'm saying? One time, all, out of all that trapping I did before 2017, 2017 did it. Mm. And guess what? I ain't been that motherfucker in six years. And don't go back. I don't want to get bit again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's about like, what it's not about how you doing something. I mean, it ain't about what you doing, it's about how you doing something. No fact, no fact. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then you might be doing that motherfucker so good, people get scared about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, how the fuck you just doing that and just doing that? Because I'm not doing what you doing. And that's what I was saying. I'm doing the same thing, but I'm not doing what that's, you're doing. And that, I'm so, that's what I was trying to say about a podcast situation, because it's respectfully. Niggas talk about the, them 10,000 hours, right? Nah, nigga. I'm putting 10,000 hours in studying. Niggas like, putting 10,000 in the work. Right. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is crazy. Like, like 20. Like, niggas that's like, why motherfuckers is behind. It's really 20,000. Facts. You gotta study and then go work. Nigga, I'm putting that time, and that's why I be, even I be talking to my, my assistants, and this is just a, can be a conversation for like with some real shit. They be like, you don't really see like how big you are. Like you J Hill. I'm like, nah, cause I'm my head is in the books. I'm looking at, I'm looking at what I can be doing. Like this shit cool. So do you study? Do you study Wallow and them shit? I study everybody's shit, right? Nick, I study like all in my homeboy, baby J. That was that was my rap. That was my rap homework. Like whoever got the whoever interviews coming out. Mm. You feel me? Like when Fab interview came out, Kevin Gates and Gotti and everything. Yo, they got interview. Go watch it. And then when I get outside, even the ones I didn't watch, what happened in that interview? We getting that call happening. And he can't lie because he watched it. Mm. You can't, you feel that's hard. That's not hard. homework. You know what I'm saying? You know it's hard. And that's how you know when the motherfucker wants you to win, bro. It's that's it's it's hard because like even like the process of interviewing with somebody, right? That's why I do different interviews. Yeah. I'll do uh, I just did this YouTube dude. Um he was a Mexican guy, Spanish guy. And I was telling him like my process of Doing homework, it teaches me other things about other people. So now I'm studying his crap. Yeah. Right? So that, that helps me. Like, people don't even understand. Bro, man, Wallow and Gilly don't even count in respect, respectfully, because that's my culture. Yeah. I'm studying niggas like Joe Rogan. I'm studying niggas that's outside of my culture so I can understand how to put it together. Because yeah. I'm always understanding yeah. Gilly and Wallow. Yeah. Like me, that's where we came from. Like, I'm going to study the rapper and the CEO who you want to. Exactly. You know what I'm Why he come to get you? Why he did that? You feel me? So I know if I ever get around these people, I already know what they like. That's why you ain't That's why you ain't signing that deal. Tough. <laughs> it comes back for a certain. That's why you ain't signing that deal. And I already know if you offer me something, what am I really worth? Then I just, <laughs> nope. Then I just had this conversation. I'm like, yo, what's going to happen is, what happened is these, these companies, they're going to do, they're going to be like, yo, all right, bet. They thinking long term. We ain't come from nothing. Randy, you got some money. I ain't come from nothing. So they're going to come like, I give you 
hundred fifty thousand dollars for the for the rights of your podcast. Nigga don't have no money. You gonna say yeah because he don't know no better. You ain't thinking ten years from now. I'm thinking ten years from now when a nigga watching my shit on, on Netflix in ten years from now, ten days from now, when you probably get that one, they gonna get you that one to come in there. You gonna be sitting in this bitch with little baby. You gonna be sitting in this bitch with yo God. They want that shit gonna and be millions of views. Millions of views and they done made a hundred. You don't get no money. You gonna be like what the? And fuck? they done made one point five million off this shit. You done put your whole one fifty into some more other shit. You done spent the shit. Some dumb house, shit. Kid, your chain, your watch. <laughs> Now you back, because on that couch interviewing niggas, broke as shit again. Broke as hell. Like I say, yo, they offer you, they offer you a dollar. You birth tech. Facts. Woo! Money check, yo. I fuck with it, dog. No, Good no, shit, no. man. For real. Be careful with that. No. Uh, money check, everybody. Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast is a wrap. We out. Good shit, man. That was great.